The University of Maryland Extension presents The Biltmore Stick. Foresters, landowners, and loggers are all regularly faced with a difficult question. How do you measure the amount of rectangular lumber that can be sawn from a circular tree? This question is made even more difficult by the fact that the trees are often standing when the question is asked, and the fact that trees are actually conical, with different amounts of taper from the stump to the crown. There are many tools available that make the very complex equations involved in these calculations more manageable. Generally, the tools with both high accuracy and high ease of use are expensive. This video is a demonstration of the proper use of the Biltmore stick. The Biltmore stick is a simple and inexpensive tool used to measure a tree's diameter and merchantable height. The diameter and merchantable height can be used to estimate the volume of wood in a standing tree or harvestable timber. There are at least two measuring tools in the Biltmore stick, the diameter stick to measure tree diameter and the merit hypsometer to measure the tree's merchantable height or usable wood. The diameter of a tree is measured in inches. This is known as diameter at breast height, or DBH. The merchantable height of a tree is measured in 16-foot logs. This is the number of logs 16 feet long that can be cut from a tree. Now we shall demonstrate how to use the diameter stick to measure DBH. So the first thing you need to do is figure out how high four and a half feet is above the ground on your body. On me, it comes up to right here, which is about right here on the tree. Most Biltmore sticks are designed to be held 25 inches away from your eye, so you need to know how far that is on your body. On mine, it's the distance from my thumb to my shoulder. Once you know how high above the ground and how far from your eye you should hold the stick, you can begin to measure trees. One thing you want to make sure of when you begin measuring is that you're using the tree scale stick and not the log scale stick. If you forget the measurements we just talked about, most Biltmore sticks have them printed right on them. If your tree is on a slope, make sure you begin measuring on the uphill side. Hold the stick on the center of the tree and line up the left edge of the stick with the left edge of the bark. Now without moving your head or the stick, look at the right edge of the tree and measure to the closest inch, being sure to measure outside the bark. This tree is 15 inches DBH. Because trees are often elliptical in cross-section rather than round, it's a good idea to take two measurements perpendicular to each other and find the average. Once you've taken the first, simply move the stick 90 degrees around the tree and take a second, repeating the same steps. Add these two numbers, divide by two, and you have an average of the diameter of the tree. Now let's use the merit hypsometer to measure the tree's merchantable height. Begin by standing 66 feet, or one chain, away from the tree. An easy way to measure a chain from a tree is to pace it. You can also use a pre-measured tape. Hold the stick up to the tree one foot off the base. This is stump height. Move your eyes up the tree until you come to large branching. Above this point, a mill will no longer be able to make logs. This is called merchantable height. Read the height to the nearest half log. This tree is about two and a half logs. Here you can see the two and a half log measurement. There may be other limiting factors besides branching. Defects such as burls, cavities, or rotting may limit value. You can have a tree with damage low on the trunk, but above the trunk appears sound. In such cases, measurements may have to begin above a defect and continue up to the usable height. Merchable height will vary depending upon how you wish to use the tree. For example, saw logs are usually at least 10 inches in diameter at the smallest end. However, some pulpwood buyers will buy pulpwood as small as 4 inches in diameter. Contact your local forester for the commonly used diameters in your area. Now that you know both the DBH and the height of your tree, 
you can consult a conversion table to find an estimate of the number of board feet in that tree. This stick has a, one of these tables right on it, and it uses the international one quarter inch rule. Our tree has two and a half 16 foot logs, so we'll begin by coming down this column to the line between two and three. Our tree has a DBH of 15 inches, so we'll come over to the 15 inch column. The number of board feet in our tree is estimated to be between 156 and 208. The average of those two numbers is 182. Now it's important to remember that the number of board feet the mill actually produces could be significantly different, as this is only an estimate and only uses one rule. If you have an estimate of the stumpage price available in your area for the species on your land, and you continue this measurement process throughout your woodlot, you can come up with an estimate of the total value and the total volume of harvestable wood on your land. Now you know how to use the Biltmore stick to estimate the volume of wood in a standing tree by measuring the tree's merchantable height and diameter.